yeah gobo versus daru so i mentioned this when i first saw this exhibition essentially i personally do not know what the fuck to do against Eno with gold lewis in neutral and on defense i don't know what the plan is for gold lewis in this matchup and so i was kind of interested in watching this simply because i want to see what gobu does like i'm really i'm really curious you're gonna play in the range I want to. You're gonna have to that should be fine, probably, I guess. Okay, so this is the first of 10 they played. Normally, I would pause it and be like, all right, here's the deal now, chat, and talk to you guys, but it's our first of 10. We got a long time to talk. One thing about this is Gold Lewis has some issues dealing with some of her pressure uh, in the sense that his 2P is like a great challenge on her. You can use it to stuff her air dash and stuff, but 2P gets low profile by stroke. So it's actually kind of bad at challenging on defense against while well, he's dead. Uh, it's actually kind of bad at challenging on defense against her because stroke like just goes under it. So then you have to hit 2K, but 2K gets eaten up by air dash. So his best lights are like not really that great at challenging her. You know what I mean? A good example is you saw like after Gobo got hit by stroke here, he techs out and hits 2P. This 2P will anti air her if she air dashes at him. But it's not going to beat the next stroke. Stroke will just go under it. It goes under his 2P. Plus, that is slightly negative, but it's hard to challenge after because of the distance. For Vince, what up? Another issue in this matchup is uh, a lot of characters in the game struggle to deal with his drone, right? This, this right here. Eno has a few things about this that are really good. One, she can stroke under it, which is already... Very good, right? Most characters would be happy to have that too. She obviously can hover dash or like jump dive kick over it as well. So that is really good for her. Her ability to like evade this is, yeah, is quite strong. It's not as easy for him to just like stop you from, you know, approaching over it as it is some other characters. All right, he might've won the round. Okay, yeah, you get a combo off that, dead. Yeah, this is one thing to note about Gold Lewis that's very important. You know, as as you know, you talk about his neutral or his defense, things aren't looking so good. When something like this happens and you get hit by low BT, this one right here, this is eight four two. Both of his lowered BTs don't have that much range, but this one is really good. You get a combo off of it. Yeah, she just gets deleted. Drone is so good because of that too, because you can just meet you with whatever button he wants, and then if the drone hits you, you know you're just stuck. I like he's doing that a lot the air dash into behemoth to try to beat her anti-airs like her anti-air buttons are really good her 6p is incredibly good it's it's one of the strongest 6ps for sure yeah he waited he waited for that YRC and then no YRC came all oh, out of the corner oh she might be able to block oh never mind that's pretty big she has burst though too Nice. I think you got to be careful about bursting too early there. Oh, he's so big. And Chemical Love is very useful in this matchup, as you can see. Look at how many times in a row she's getting smoked by Chemical Love. So to talk about the 6Hs, this kind of looks dumb, right? The idea behind 6H, I think, question mark, is he was trying to extend his hitbox or his hurtbox into the note early. But I think Daru like piloted the note higher, maybe, so that it didn't happen. Because he did it a few times in a row. Unless those were miss BTs, but that would surprise me. Yeah, trying to beat the anti-airs again. Oh, he's too chunky. He's too chunky. There's not that many matchups, I think, where Eno just gets to use drone, or not drone, uh, HCL and note so much. Yeah, 6H is disjointed, but I think his idea is to hit her out of it if she hover dashes at him right so it, oh you a challenge with a note oh that was cool it still hit him though that's how he ifd'd the jump k and then the jump does still reach because of the forward momentum zoning you know in this matchup i think the chemical love being so good means that she she can actually play a bit more of an established like poke game with it like that right than in other matchups that is so bad yeah he's so chunky see he is so chunky i don't know what he's supposed to do about um chemical love in that situation i guess your answer is this right your answer to that situation punish interesting i wonder if that's actually more damage than uh, oh shit that was cool 
I wonder if that's a, a more damaging Punisher than just doing close slash uh, two three or uh, two six ABT. Well, this is pretty bad. Yeah, it just goes low. You can run under a chemical love, but obviously, like, she doesn't use chemical love to deal with you running. She uses chemical love to deal with you jumping or BTing or poking. And chemical love is really good against those options for Gold Lewis. All right, so that's two Odara, right? Oh, 2K. 2K got buffed to deal with that, right? But even even still. So you notice he's... Uh, Gobo's already running a bit more, right? He's running more so that he doesn't get hit by a chemical love, but now, Daru, you already saw him adjust. He was like, oh, I'm just going to start doing strokes or air dash H. God, she's so fast. Oh, no. See, he tried to 2P. I think in that situation, you can 2P, but close slash might be better. Blocked. Punish. Oh, no, the meter. Combo? Nice. Back scratcher? how do you block that? You don't. You don't Still block. plus. You don't, you don't. Oh, her 6P. Yeah, up. see, that is, you know, he ran up and tried to challenge. Chemical Love hits. One mix up. Uh oh. One chance. Uh -huh. Oh, you're a Sage Jam fan. No doubt again. He's so chunky. Nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Enigmatic, what up? Oh, you're, I think this round's over. Yeah. I don't think she really has a good way to escape there, right? With that little meter. Like, you're just going to get chipped out. It's hard to challenge or do something there. Oh, 5P, whiffs. You have to hit 5P to try to, like, you know, beat a second hover dash or something. Oh, help. Yeah, this is... That was bad. Did not want... Dara gets a positive. Yeah, again, too. He's so big in situations like that. It's so easy for her to bully him. Oh, no wall break. That's actually pretty good for him, I think. I think no wall break is actually really great to keep the corner here. Yeah, it's over. And that, mm -hmm. Game up. Not quite. Hang on. You just need one more hit. Yeah, Still. that's pretty cool. I like that he's trying to do air dash BRC to like, and he's doing fast RC to try to like send himself across the screen fast. But you know, it does not seem like it's working. Dude, that, that jumped us has been smoking him. And to be honest, I don't really see a lot of other Enos do these, these delay jumped us and stuff. That shit is. Man, opened up. that is nasty. Great block. Close slash uh, after the dive. I think you can probably hit 2P or 5P after the dive or close slash. Close slash is 7. It's not going to kill. Uh, did he block it in the air? No, blocked on the ground. Nice. That was a great punish. Because you don't want him to be able to burst, right? Yeah, so throw is a really good choice. The burst. <laughs> so far. Man, 3 0 for our 3 1 Daru so far. Is it 3 1? I thought it was 3 0. Am I already getting lost? Daru is really fun to watch. In this matchup, I just wanted to see what Gobo's plan was. And his plan, I feel like. Yeah, 2P is nice. Yeah, you did. You're right. You're right. Oh. This is pretty big. He's really good at doing that. Yeah, the fuzzy. He is really good at doing running 684 or 486 BT. That is like a really important thing to do in is Gold Lewis, I think. But it's hard. Like, it's not easy to do. Nice. Ooh, that's a lot of chip. She can stroke. She can jump back. She can air dash. Yeah. Nice. 2P is a great challenge. So I mentioned 2P is pretty good as an anti-air, actually. And you can see it's pretty good right there for an anti-air and punish on the dive. Uh, it's The only problem with 2P, again, is that stroke goes under it. So when you're trying to use 2P to challenge her, you see, like, that's an anti-air right there. When you're trying to use 2P to challenge her like that, uh, and she just does stroke, it beats it. So that is an issue that Gold Lewis has. Oh, you're dead. Oh, that should have been off the wall bounce. Nice. That is a great, great challenge and good recognition of what he's going to do here. He he knows he does 5P just in case of a jump and then hits 5K to beat the stroke. This is good matchup knowledge because you're not going to beat the stroke with your 2P or your 5P, right? He found the answer to stroke. He found... The, you see? the stroke kick crouchers, yeah, it's a low. 5K is so good. It's like he like first of all he like slaps his knee when he does it, but also it it pulls his hurt box really far back. It's like really hard to hit him when he does it. So 
you can actually poke against a lot of disjointed moves with it. Like, just far normals from certain characters, like Kai. It's a, it's a low, so that's pretty nice. You can use it as a meaty from farther away, and like your hurtbox is pulled back. It's pretty nice. He slaps the knee. Nice. That, that combo's a bit more consistent now, right? Isn't that the route that's easier to do now? Or is it another... It's another... There's one of the routes that got changed by the air dash. That might not be it. Does cross-up seem whack? They're pretty good, IMO. I think she is safe, yeah. I think they're pretty good because they're pretty fast, and he doesn't have to go for... for uh, what's it called? He doesn't have to go for the cross up. He can run up and just media in the front and do this instead. And it's safe, so it gets you out of the corner or something instead. Oh no. Super? <gasps> he missed it. I think she would have died. I'm 90% sure she would have died. Uh, he had 5k looking for stroke again. Alright, she's dead. Nice, 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 nice. I like that. That was pretty good. Did you see his meter stealing mechanic? Are you talking about Gold Lewis doing minigun? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh I wonder if that 6H would have hit both hits. I wonder if this would have comboed. I feel like maybe the first hit might not have hit. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful pickup. Dude, Chemical Love right is really the juice the in this matchup. Nice. Looking good. That mix-up is good. He steals your money or your life? Not I know. Go Gatling is... You, you make a choice, right? Gatling is like that. You you honestly have to choose. Do you want... I like the RC. Yeah, he's dead. You choose whether you give up your life or your meter. This matchup is going exactly like what I expected. I think this is one of the matchups where Eno's neutral is like most uh, difficult for characters to deal with. Because because of the fact that Chemical Love is such a strong poke in this matchup, when in other matchups it's not as effective, and because of the fact that... Um, Nice. Yeah, I like I like the minigun to challenge note there. It unfortunately is not level one, so it doesn't do too much for you here. You just get yeah. the gunshot and that's it. But yeah, so minigun does not knock down unless you have half or or full minigun meter. It's not good for Garo. Yeah, I'll bring out the get. Again, chemical love in this matchup is really hard for him to deal with. Nice. She's dead. Uh -oh, bing bang overhead two s bam. Oh. Bang 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 bang. Nice. Of course. Yeah, that's it. yeah, Chemical Love is really useful in this matchup. He just stopped FDing right before the end. I think if he just did raw BT, it would have done more damage than what he did, but nice. That's the classic. That is the Eno burst bait. Your meter and your life. I I don't I'm not gonna question him, but I think his combo could have done slightly more damage. Time to block. Time to block. Yeah, I also don't think he has a good punish on that. Damn, that did mad damage. I also don't think he has a good punish on this, right? Because I think his 2P most of the time doesn't reach unless you IB it. Even if you IB, you have to throw her to punish. Because I think his like 2P, from my memory, does not hit it very well. I definitely said I don't like this Gold Lewis color. Yeah, I think it's ugly. I think his jacket is really ugly in this color. I do like the hands, though. I think his hands are really cool in this. The coffin. Uma, he's stuck, yeah. Another issue, too, is you saw... This Dara got clipped here, though. You saw trying to do 2K after. You know, he just got the missed buffer. This is pretty good for you, though, when it hits. Plus... Nice. Oh, so no the the basic thing to understand about Goldus pressure oh, chat room is like, this right here. Anytime he does a plus BT, uh, he can choose to stagger by like you know doing run up close slash or two K or like you know another uh, two six A BT or something like that. Right? If he wants to keep it tight, you know, if he wants to check your your jump back, your back dash, whatever, he will do this BT. Right? This is like the hey, I think you're gonna move BT. So when this BT is blocked. Uh, this should end whatever he's doing, right? This is the end of the pressure. Uh, it's it's it, we reset, and I can either backdash or challenge or do whatever, right? That one is six eight four, BT. So forward, up, uh, back. That one is the like generic poke slash. Oh yeah, you got everybody. Wow. 
Castlevania. Okay. Does he got? Does he got guts? For that's this? like the one. That's the end. He does that when he thinks like, okay, oh, like I think you're gonna wiggle. Oh, so this is what I do to check your back dash and jump back, whatever. That's, that's like the way? let me let me see if you're moving BT, right? So when he's doing any of the other BTs, any of the ones that are starting from the top or the bottom, he's gonna be plus. He's gonna want to pressure That's you after too. the ones that start on the horizontal, especially the forward ones. That one and the other one are are both not gonna be plus. Ooh, that's a bad burst. I understand though because I think he thought that the stroke just hit him, right? I don't think he thought that this was gonna trade. He did the two P exceeding like incredibly late because normally two P just gets low profile, so he just bursted out of sheer like oh shit I got hit. Oh, I thought he was gonna get a ground to confirm there. That's a great challenge. That BT is this. So this is a common challenge for Gold Lewis when he blocks things as a reversal. This BT as well. He does this when he blocks Made Dolphin. He does this when he blocks, you know, stuff like Stroke. This is a good thing to challenge. This is like the good, like I block something negative, but I don't have a punish challenge, right? So I'm going to do this to keep you still. There's a bunch of stuff you can do if you want them to not move after, backdash, jump back, whatever. This is like the, hey, stop it the problem is like you're reversing with a uh half circle starting from forward up to up back to back motion so it's like a little weird to do as a reversal honestly it's kind of weird i find it very weird to do but you know gobo does running overhead bts and stuff so he's a gamer he's got the execution for it yeah it's the hey stop squirming bt it's he's so chubby it's hard for him to get over that Nice. That is so consistent. Okay. How many times have we seen Daru pu whiff punish the <laughs> BTs with this? A lot of characters can whiff punish BT with their movement. After they backdash, they can like, you know, Giovanna can do like dash S or dash kick or whatever and whiff punish. Or Soul can do run up far slash. Or, you know, Kai can do run up far slash. Or uh, he can do stun dipper. His stun dipper is really good for whiff punishing this. But Chemical Love is like one of the most, I, I have to think this is one of the best whiff punishes for it. Not in terms of damage, but in terms of consistency, right? Like it's so fast. It's very safe if whiffed, like, okay. it, you know, yeah, it's like a really good option. Sheesh, down. Oh no, missed the punish. These are negative, by the way. The jump, jump dust BT there is negative, but it's kind of hard to challenge. PRC for the pressure, dead. That does a lot of damage. There's so much risk. You you really just with gold, this character, Gold Lewis, you either sacrifice your meter or you take a billion chip and risk. And if you're not right on when you challenge, FDing him might not matter because he might just re you know re pressure you by doing run up five k, two eight uh, two six ABT anyway. So you're just like, well. That did a shit ton of damage. Yeah, so th that's kind of like, look at how much chip Dar like look at the life that Daru has. He he actually has more than this before it starts, right? He's like over here before this starts. And look at that, he doesn't get hit this whole time. Or he gets hit there, but this is just like chip damage, he's FDing, chip damage, and then he just gets hit. Like it's just all this like life that's just like, yep. I'm FDing it, I'm trying to That's escape so it, I've run out of meter, you're chipped, and like if you do a button, you'll all, a lot of times you trade with his BTs too, if you try to challenge. His 268 BT is that one right there, that's plus three, point blank, and it gets more plus the farther, I think she's dead, it gets more plus the farther he is, right? So this one, it's meaty, so it's even more plus. Do it again. I think, she, did she hit 5P there? He tries the 5P a little late. It looked like maybe. I don't know if that was a reversal timing. Bang, bang. She's dead. She's deader than dead. She's like Omega dead. Yeah, she's a five frame, five P. That's a gobo round. It happens. There's two things that happen here. One, it's very meaty. I don't know if this means that it's more than plus three here. I imagine it is because it hits so meaty. The second thing is. I think he's just a little late on it. God, Eno has a four frame cool button, doesn't that's, she? That's what, uh, doesn't she? Is it her 2P yeah. maybe actually? Oh, is it five? Okay. Gold Lewis, yeah. I mean, when he's on offense, I think he is in the top two or three offense in the game. I don't think, I don't think that's, uh, that's controversial to say. I think to, from my personal experience, I think he's like, uh, He's very like underrated in in a lot of ways, but I think people are maybe overrating to say he's top five. He's very he's good. He has good buttons. He can play neutral pretty well, but there are some matchups where his size and speed can 
can kind of get him in trouble. His offense is incredible, though. Like, it doesn't matter the matchup because, you know, character archetypes like him sort of always have the ability to win on the the drop of a, a dime, right? Like, that's kind of their nature. Like, he is extremely powerful when he gets in, like, to an absurd degree. There's not many characters who have pressure like him. He forces you to either uh, get chipped or challenge and then die. Or you don't challenge and then you just get your whole life bar chipped away. Still plus nine. That was a good that was a good moment because if he just did run up far slash instead, like I think Dara just loses the round. So like chemical love worked out. For nightmare, what up? Yeah. And now you're stuck, drone out, keeps you locked down. Daru spent literally like 40% of bar to not get chipped, and he's still about to be chipped. Yeah, that goes. His 2P is a really good A. It's very good for situations like that. It's why in this matchup, if his 2P hits stroke, I think actually this matchup would be much better for Gold Lewis. Like he would actually, he might, he might have a really, a really good time against Eno, to be honest. Oh, you just hit close slash? What a fucking sicko. Nice. Yeah, this is really bad for Daru. Like, incredibly bad. That was a good time to challenge. I think right there is a good example of a time where he should have done 684. After blocking this here, he might have tried it and missed it, I suppose. But 684 here would have caught backdash and he would have run the round. Yeah, you can choose to FD and take no chip against this character, but then obviously, oh, your meter's gone. Cross up. Oh, he just knew. I think he's leading with cross up a little too much. Drone again. It's not going to go full screen. Yeah. Because of the security level. Punish. That was going to do a lot. Daru is here. Plus three minimum, right? Because this is plus three at worst, and he does close slash after, which is seven frames. So... Daru's like, I mean, he's stuck. So, Bobo you know, that's how it goes. Is, it's 5-4? Five, five, four. Yeah, yeah, it's 5-4 now. So the most to pull like three points. But yeah, still back yeah. and forth. Go, go, that's a good point. Maybe his maybe his BTs like, aren't yeah. changed by it. I think I think his Bobo. BTs were... Oh, God. That was, that was the okay. sickest burst I've ever seen. <laughs> just throw the gap. Yeah, please please throw right there and just get counter. Yeah, he's doing that cross-up too much, I think. I think instead, right there, he should just probably run up and uh, take throw or 2p, 2p pressure. I wish he did more 2p, 2p pressure. If you have the after, no, you have to FD the move itself. He's dead. Oh, he didn't do 2s. Oh. The drone goes through, yeah. Oh my god. What? And the little homie. The little homie. Yeah, the drone is super good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only if you FD the move itself. Yeah, I thought so. Gonna do in the front this time. Oh, he waited for the burst. Oh no, why? On block stroke? I don't think he realized he IFD'd there, actually. He kind of wasn't ready for the pushback. Chemical love doing work in this matchup, isn't it? That was a great confirm. I love that Daru doesn't do stroke cancels that often, either. It's, like, very rare for him, actually, to just, like, lead with it over and over. That was pretty rough. Yeah, I think if you FD after, it doesn't affect it. I'm pretty sure it only affects it if you FD the move itself. So if you FD after during the block stun, I don't, I don't think it changes it. That is so good. That really has hit every time. The delayed jump does. I like that gold burst too. 6p. Her having such a good 6p really helps in this matchup. It's really useful for her to have against Gold Lewis. I think most characters struggle to anti-air this character unless you're using your 6p. Like there's there's some characters that have grounded anti-airs that work, but a lot of characters, I'm sure you know if you fought Gold Lewis from in the chat room, a lot of characters struggle to anti-air him at like normal jump ranges unless they use a 6p. Right? So like, you know, in that in most cases, unless you're posted up waiting 
ready to 6p it's hard so if you have a good fast 6p and you have good walk speed to position yourself it's a lot easier to anti him a lot of characters can't really just hit like that whatever their jump or their anti-air normal is and just anti him cleanly at most ranges like for like soul 5k right unless you're like super ready for it and even if you are it trades a lot it doesn't beat it very consistently for jack what up plus all the way yeah he did This is a pretty bad spot. He just committed to the frame trap, though. I kind of feel like Daru has not been challenging it that much. Nice. Man, he's so good at that. Run doing running 8-4-2 is kind of hard. I mean, Daru gets negative penalty in this matchup a lot because he tries to set up notes and stroke. Or notes and uh, chemical up. But I don't really think you care because most of the time he does it is when he's in an advantageous position anyway, so losing a bit of meter doesn't bother him that much. Like... You gain negative penalty at the end of the round when you're already winning. You're like, okay. Again, this is something that is like, yeah, this is really important. He can use these air BTs after air dashes and stuff to throw off your anti-air timing. Her 6P is chunking up. He might have done the wrong BT there too because he got crossed up, right? And he just got half circled the other uh, direction. That happens sometimes too. Counter hit confirm. Can he, do that again? Go, go. he has super here too. Yeah, wall splat. Nice. He lives with a pixel. I think here too is pretty good for Dar, right? Yeah, note. Perfect. He just did note up. Did it again. Yeah. I think Gobo, he could have FD'd and lived, but I don't think he wanted to give up the meter. Do I know who won this set? I, I don't know, but I assume Daru won. Juicy starter. Are we going to get a wall break here? Mm -hmm. One hand away from I think the matchup is probably also Eno favor. Yeah, giving him that space. But I'm not 100% sure. So it kind of went, it's kind of going how I expected. Yeah. Trying to force the burst. Yeah, it might not. The the guard crush, it might not affect his uh, BT blocks then. I honestly forgot that it was yeah. guard crush. He's not dead, right? Oh, that did a chunk. Ouch. I mean, to be honest with you, in this matchup, I think like most of the games have gone kind of how I've expected. The only rounds where Gobo is really like doing a lot of work is rounds where he can make a few right choices and get in once and make it count, right? I think that's kind of what you should expect in this matchup. It's really difficult for Gobo to like control the pace of the match. He sort of is, he always has to chase and he kind of always has to be the one initiating. And Eno has really good tools to stop that. We're going to the corner, folks. You know. In this matchup in particular, I don't think that's always the case for this character, but I think this is a good matchup to show off that she can use like her moves in a way that's a little bit different than most other matchups. Oh, he said, get that guy out of here. Go low or throw? Oh, this hurts. It's going to hurt so much. <laughs> Most importantly, he gets to run up here. Well, I actually really like that he did 6A4 BT to challenge there, too. Nice. That would have that would have done a chunk. And then he could have done minigun there. He wants the minigun or drone, right? Oh, it hit him all the That hit him? That note is doing so much work. He's so chunky. But that was close. Go book could have had after he got that super. I actually cannot believe it. Ooh, that was a miss. Yeah. Run up 5 H. You know when when a Gold Lewis player hits 5 H. Oh, that was really good. Not only was it a burst bait, but it got a side swap as well. Run up 5 H is never intentional usually. It's very rarely. He wants a super now, right? Oh you're a sicko. He wasn't holding forward. Although that was a crouch confirm. Nice. What a sicko. Daru is like, he's not going to tech off the wall. Because if you do, if you just hold forward here, some some advice for the chat room. If you get wall splatted, you should just hold forward. Just as a general rule, chat, hold a button and hold forward. You'll tech off the wall. Was it grounded? Oh, it was the grounded wall splat. You're right. He was stuck. It is still a good rule, though. Damn, that is messed up. Does that always ground a wall splat you? Stroke does it? That was stroke that he ended with. No, he ended with. He did 2k6p, six, six right? 6p doesn't? Oh my gosh. Okay, going for the super plus. 
Yeah. Is that universal, actually? Oh, that was good. What an answer. My goodness. Why is 2P using 2P as a media over close slash? So, it's a good question. So, 2P is plus on block and 2P, 2P frame traps. So characters that don't have four frame or faster buttons, 2P close slash is a frame trap and it combos on crouching characters. So, 2P close slash uh, will combo if the character is crouching and will frame trap if the character doesn't have a four frame or faster button, right? So it is really good. And also if you do 2P, 2P and they get hit, you can do 6A, 4BT and that's a confirm. It combos and you can run up and do 2P media again. If you do 2P, 2P and they don't get hit, you can still do it and it, you know, it's just chip damage. Or you can do um, 2, 6, 8, BT or whatever and go for pressure, right? So it's really good. It combos naturally on, ground, on uh, crouching it. Which is really nice to have, to be honest, because sometimes people, you know, they just get hit crouch for whatever reason. There we go. Sends the note out again. Goes high this time. The dash ult was a read. Nice ult. Uh, yeah, I think he just did it like because there's, it's like a kind of a why not move, in the sense that like you do air dash into super because either a he anti airs you, and if he tries to anti air you, your super hits right. Or B, he doesn't try to anti air you, and you have to block the super, and you're stuck anyway. Does that make sense? So, like, it, it's kind of just like a why not move, right? Because it's just like, why not? Best case scenario, you get hit and you die. Worst case scenario, you block it, and I'm plus 30 billion, and you get the, you know, you got to deal with the mix up anyway. It's like a why not, right? He's not. It's a good way to think He's about it. It's a why not move. I think so. There's not, not really a lot of downsides to doing it. This is a rough spot. Daru looks, he looks like he just, this matchup is going the way I expected. Gobo was working for a bit there, but, you know. It's kind of looking like what we expect. Damn the OTG burst. He made it under, oh, that was a close slash, right? Let me look. What did he try here? He did TP in a close slash? Or was it another button? 2P, oh, it was close slash, and close slash betrayed him, and jump K beat it. Damn, that sucked. Close slash was a good try. I would have done the same thing, I think, to be honest. Nice. There was 2P close slash. Fuzzy. That is a PRC fuzzy off the guard break here. Pretty, pretty useful to have. Cause you can do it off you can do it off the overhead bt here she's stuck and blocks stun. crouch blocks gets hit by the fuzzy corner pressure now is tough for it's a lot of damage good you can also you don't even have to do that either right you can just go for regular pressure you don't have to be fancy and do the fuzzy let's just go through it wow he really was ready for this set you know he just knew, huh? Home. He just labbed that shit and was like, yep, I've got the perfect counter. That was really smart. Yeah, he's ready. That was cool. Honestly, like, it's funny because I think even if you don't have that as an answer, you can deal with the laser in a bunch of different ways. But that was definitely some, like, yeah, 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 yeah shit, right? He was like, I'm so ready. What'd he do? So he did the command throw super, which is, like, fully invuln, and you just oh make gosh. everything whiff because of it, and she still shoots the projectile, so Gold Lewis has to block. In the corner, once again. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, fight. that is a really bad hit to get hit by it. So this laser super will drag you towards Gold Lewis, right? So he lands from Chemical Love, does the command throw super. The command throw super is invincible here, right? So he has invuln frames, he shoots all the projectiles, Gold Lewis has to block all the projectiles, and now they're even. They just trade super for super. And that super is a bit more costly for Gold Lewis because it costs his security gauge too, right? It drains his security gauge to do it, and it's more powerful the higher his security gauge is. Oh my god! That BT puts her back in the corner only if it hits high. It, I, it splats them to the ground if it hits later on, because that's the that BT is the what's it called the low BT. In the corner once again. But it, it hit on the way, on the back side of it, instead of the low part. You know, he swings it down. You see how he swings it in front of him? It's the low. Yeah, a few of his BTs have weird stuff like that. Like, I think the overhead one's on an overhead if it hits, like, really high up or whatever. There's, like, a few weird things about the about BTs yeah. if they hit in different angles. The drone might hit. Oh, the drone went away. It may be, oh, it was probably a level one drone. That makes sense. Minigun him. Yeah, take that meter, yeah. It's really good to just take the meter there. 
too much meter for oh, that. that hits. Yeah, he does. Oh, Do the empty low on the other side mix oh up. God. Oh, oh, nice punish. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Now nah, you need that super to cost security gauge. The reason I say that is because, like, imagine if that super just, like, uh, what's it called? You could always for free get the big super on it. Like, that would be really good. Oh, he did clash cancel into the jump S. I think as a gold Lewis player, you always have to be ready for that. Every time you do air BT, you have to assume they're going to clash with an anti-air or something. So you have to cancel into another BT or anti-air or, or um, a block in the air. Playing it so patiently most of these times, but now it's, it's Gobo that's pushing the offense. Double yeah, goal. also the amount of chip that would do. Imagine just free no super minigun to the, the super, yeah. and like, yeah, that'd be messed up. <laughs> that was a really bad trade for Gold Lewis. Oh, there we go. Because uh, it costs your security gauge to shoot the minigun, and the she just shoots a note at you for free. You get negative penalty soon, though. Security level two, we're going to see. Not after that air dash forward, though. Okay. You see how she just navigates around the note or around the uh, drone? It really does not bother her in the sense. That shit is so good. It hit me every time so far. Yeah, Go Gobo has been playing Gold Lewis since before Evo. Like, he's just been playing the character. From my understanding, he said that this character is more fun than Zato, so that's why he's been playing him. Or Glue, what up? Thanks for the prime. The bait, of course. He always does it. He always goes for that burst bait. I don't blame him. It looks cool. Nice! Dead? You love to see it. Back and forth, Bobby. He said, give me that! It's like one of the first times Gobos win for like a hard burst bait like that, right? He has no burst. The, the burst Ooh. This would have been good if Gobo could hold the corner. Unfortunately, he does not. That kind of tickles. That's not too much damage. What's more important is if she gets a hit into super or a knockdown into super here. Like, he could die in the next hit. Damn, that beat his jump S. A lot of characters really struggle to contest that. Is she over it? No, that sucks. Air blocking it like that? Yeah. Mo a lot of supers are like that in this game. Like, uh, Nagori Yuki super is a good example. There's a lot of supers in this game where when you air block them like this, the extra air blocks them, makes them safe, and also the pushback. For Vicarious, what's good? Like, she recovers, and then he starts acting, but yeah, kind of hard to get a punish here. I, I don't even, I don't know what, what else he's going to try there. Oh, wow. I'm surprised his 2P didn't recover. Because he FD'd it, FD in the air wouldn't have wouldn't have made it harder to punish. Yeah, it would have made it easier. You know, the pushback is the big deal. Even if you air FD something, like Nagori Yuki Super is the same way. Even if you jump in the air and you FD it, you know, you're kind of just stuck. To be honest, this this is going pretty much, this looks about like what I expected the map. Damn, me close slash stroke, that was tight. Get used to this. Yeah, this looks about like this. what I would have expected this matchup to go so far. Yeah, he's too big. He's too big. I don't know what else you're going to do to contest that there. Maybe Raw BT? Raw BT might not be so bad. Nice punish. He's really, really smart. It costs you no meter. You get a knockdown. Yeah, that is a great punish on the super. Not, You're a sick fuck. Okay, calls for a super again. Daru, you that was probably supposed to be air super though, right? And he just got crown super, or maybe he's just a sicko. I don't know. That's over. That's over. Go GG to everybody. Thank you for joining us, ICFC. Jumped us. The classic knockdown here. Oh, wow, that is cheap as fuck. Okay. I understand. So you're telling me both Stroke and 6P give you grounded wall splat? That is cheap as fuck. That means this will grounded wall splat, and if this doesn't ground a wall splat, then you do Stroke after, and then you're grounded wall splat anyway. Oh, that's really cheap. Because you just do 2K, 6P, and it's like, oh, it wall splats, nice. Or you do 2K, 6P, oh, it didn't wall splat, then I'll do Stroke. Oh, nice. It gives me grounded wall splat. They both do it. That is so good. That's being alive. That's BM, bro. You can't do that. That is really good. Baited. He's dead. You got so much meter, right? No, I don't know, actually. I was going to say, yeah, that might not kill. He's got a lot of life. That's pretty good. That 6P and stroke 
both give you grounded uh, wall splat there that you can't take out of. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, I'm sure that he can just do like fake, fake, empty low, sick, like 2k 6p and then it wall splats again and then do it again and do it again and then do it until you build up meter, right? The matchup was sort of the way I thought it was going to go. It was like, you know, Gold Lewis kind of does not control neutral very well on that. Didn't really have a good way to control space or didn't have a, a good way to stop her from using HCL and note and hover dash like combined to give him and stroke to be honest to give him trouble but obviously if the character gets in his offense is so overwhelming that he can do it that looked a lot like what I was thinking it would look like which you know it's a good sign yeah why I've seen you make like four comments in my chat and they're all like lol I love seeing anti Eno tears lol I love when people are mad about Eno. no one's mad about Eno. everybody loves daru chill yeah i don't feel bad for Eno players ever because even if Eno's is not good she's doing nasty ass shit to people and you should feel despicable her movement is not super complex in like uh when you look at it kind of a way but where she can position herself on the screen is very different than other characters just because by her nature her movement options are sort of limited in in the angles that they go so for some characters it's bad like some characters can control her movement pretty well for po folks what up thanks for the tier one like she doesn't have a traditional dash that hinders her in other matchups is actually quite good like you know it's very useful that she has it so you know it, it just depends on who she's fighting can i just say cat dog looks absolutely despicable cat dog is actually smooth like you see what i'm saying here what the fuck is happening i do not want to play i don't want to be a cat dog main What? Bro. Cat dog, whoever's playing this cat dog, I'm trying to see your tier list day one. Who is this character that cat dog's fighting? I don't even know who this is. Bro. That's Sasuke. You're actually spitting. That is Sasuke. You're right. Sasuke guy is ass beat.